Hello, Cuba City community, and welcome to One-on-One -on -one with Mrs. Olson. I am here today with some of our eighth graders that have qualified for state for National History Day, and they're going to share some information with us about their project. So I have Connor Brimmeyer and Devin Sweet, who work together on a project, and Ella Barth and Chloe LaRue worked on a different project, and we're going to learn about that today. So Devin, can you start out and share with us what your project with Connor was all about? Um, well, Connor and I wanted to do something with the French Revolution, but the French Revolution is a very large topic, so we narrowed it down into subtopics, and Iran ter Terror sounded like an interesting topic, so we both thought it sounded cool, so we picked it. Awesome. Chloe, share with us about your project with Ella. Um, yeah, so we did the Coochie Tunnels, which were basically tunnels that were in the Vietnam War that were used for communication. And we knew that we wanted to do something with war, um, and we wanted to specifically do something with Vietnam. Um, but we had to con connect it to the theme, which was communication and history. So we had to figure out a way of how they communicated during war. Mm -hmm. So Perfect. Awesome. And I know with National History Day, you guys had to pick a category, and your category was group exhibits, right? So that, that kind of helps a little bit, too. So, Connor, how did you conduct your research? <clears throat> well, we usually use, well, we started off by using BadgerLink in, like, the school library website so we could search up uh, our topic and then go down the list of suggested sources. And then when we ran out of those, we used books from the library. And then for our primary sources, we used letters and notes and constitutions written by them to get different points of views on the topic. Awesome. So it took some time, right? Mm -hmm. Research yeah. takes time. Absolutely. Cool. Ella, how did you create your project? <clears throat> Well, Chloe and I first decided what categories we wanted our information to go into. Then we organized our board, like where we wanted the images and where we wanted certain, certain information. Um, and we really wanted to make our exhibit stand out. So we added a three-dimensional tunnel leading to all of our information because our topic was tunnels. Very cool. Cool. So, Chloe, what skills do you feel you've learned from this project that you'll take with you for the rest of middle school and into high school and into life? Um, I think we definitely learned like a lot of new skills with this project, but I would say that one of the biggest things that we learned was how important it was to communicate with your group members, to make sure that you were on the same page, and then to also really make sure you were managing your time um, and using all the time that you could to really make your project good. Awesome, and those are two skills definitely you will use forever your whole life. Cool. Devin, what was the most rewarding part of this experience? Um, I think that it would pr probably be making it to state. I think that Kai and I worked really hard on this project and all the time and effort it took like just made it all worth it. Yeah, and we're super excited and we're so proud of you guys for representing Cuba City Middle School in such a great way. And we want to wish you luck for um, your, you know, for the competition that is now here in April at the state level. We can't wait to hear how you guys do. I have one last question for each of you. If we can do a quick whip around on this one, I want you to tell me something you love about Cuba City Middle School, and I'm going to start with Connor. Uh, I feel like we're all pretty much close with each other. Like we're all friends. Nobody really hates each other. Fantastic. That's a good thing. Ella. Um, I like how everyone supports each other, um, no matter what they're doing, and I love our teachers. They're Wonderful. A lot of fun. Wonderful. Chloe? Um, I would say our teachers, they really help us to, like, push through, and if we're struggling, they really help us out, whether it's with school or something in life, too, so. Awesome. Devin? Um, I would say the resources. I think uh, we have a lot of resources available to us that really help us out. Fantastic. Well, thank you, you guys. Again, good luck in the upcoming competition. And thank you, Cuba City community. Have a great day.